start this thing rolling. We're just about yeah, you do. Okay. We're just about two o'clock. So uh, I want to thank you all for coming to another meeting of the Santa Barbara Real Estate Investor Association. We've got some good, exciting things going on here today. Um, for those people that have been here before, and some people that might show up on the internet to see this, our main website is the Santa Barbara R E I A dot com, and we do have benefits. We're connected with the National RIA. So if you do want to get uh, hooked up with the National RIA for things like uh, Home Depot, Office Map, and all kinds of uh, discounts and different things, you go to the front page of the website, work your way down to this. Actually, we got kind of lucky here recently because uh, we have a Chinese group that might be coming into town of investors, and they call up a number of places. Nobody was available, and guess who was sitting there at their phone when they called me? Because we're hooked in with the national, that's how they got to us. So, you know, it's luck, right place, right time, a lot of luck. Who knows how it's all going to develop, but we'll see what happens. Um, okay, so we covered a little bit of this. Uh, we've got uh, also a blog site. If you get to the main website, there's a link on there that will take you back to the blog site. The blog site has all the information about meetings, where we're going to meet, what time we're going to meet, what's going to happen, who's going to be there. And normally I don't have... I'm Helica, do you want to wait please, I'm Helica. Your pizza is ready. <laughs> it's the one problem that we have here. Other than that, you know, it's actually pretty quiet and it's a nice location. Um, comfortable, I would say. But uh, the blog site, is not really updated until a lot of times maybe a few weeks before we actually have a meeting. So if you get there a month or two and you're looking for something down the road, it probably it hasn't been set up yet. But if we're a couple weeks away, then you can be pretty much guaranteed that what's on the blog site is what's going to be happening. Okay? And this is a picture from some time back that's not current. Um, YouTube, because we're kind of gearing this association for a larger market, not just a local market. We put everything that we do in our meetings up on YouTube. That way, if you are in North Carolina or China, it doesn't matter. You can still be part of the organization. It's all free, and get you know whatever information that we have with the speakers and you know whatever we're doing is all online. So that uh, link is on the main website as well. Um, just to give you a quick little overview of what I'm personally doing on some of my investments. I've been an investor for 30 years uh, as uh, property rentals and whatnot. And I'm getting to be a burnt out landlord. <laughs> my goal was 30 or 40 properties. I'm at the point now where I'm going, I think I'd be happy if it was down to about 10, especially in this economy. So I'm working more towards uh, doing joint venture partnerships with people to do tax liens, deeds, and raw land. So we're looking at no tenants, no toilets, no termites, and you know a lot less drama. I'm not going to give up the rental stuff. I'm not saying that it doesn't work. It works fantastic. A lot of people are very successful in doing it. Maybe I'm just getting too old to work that hard. I don't know. <laughs> but I'm enjoying the tax liens and, and things that are heading in that direction. So uh, there's some paperwork over there in the back. If you're interested in that, bring it back to me. Uh, I'm going through a company called, uh, well, Sean Higgins, Tony Martinez are the people that I'm getting mentored through, and they've got an excellent, they've got an excellent website. Uh, in fact, this location right here will give you a video kind of uh, synopsis of what this website will do. That link right there, if you want to get right to it without being a member, you can listen to what this has to do with tax leads and deeds and how they've structured this program to give you something very uh, comprehensive so you're not spending a whole lot of time trying to figure it out as you go. It's like they've spent 15 years at this, so they've compiled all the information and made it much easier for you to go out and do this kind of stuff if you're interested. So, you know, we've got two types of people when it comes to tax leads. Probably 20% are saying, I want to do this as a career, because it really is. So it's time consuming and it takes a lot of uh, work. And then we probably have 80% of the people that say, I don't want to deal with it. I want to go play golf, take my money, go invest it, do something. 
because I don't want to spend my time dealing with all this. And so, you know, I'm looking at the 80% and also the 20%. If somebody's interested in learning, you know, I'll do coaching or whatever else and I can kind of help mentor as I learn and become more successful at this as well. So, I'm focusing on OTCs, which are over the counter, which means I don't have to bid, I don't have to go any place. I sit there at the computer at home and just jump online, find what I need, the right price rate, the right property, whatever, buy it, and I'm done. You know, 18, I'll never, your orders ready, I'll get. 18 to 20%, 30% returns, and then if you end up with a property, you could get 100, 200, 300% more if you actually end up with a property to run itself, because these things are very good deals once you do end up with a property, if that's the direction you want to go. I'm not looking to do any long-term holding on anything. I just want to get rid of it as soon as possible, so that's the mode that will be happening. We're not getting back into property management or anything else. It's just get in, get out, get in, get out. Okay? Now, by the way, as we're here, you guys are here physically to be able to ask questions. I mean, if you didn't, you might as well be at home watching this on a computer. So please, at any point in time, raise your hand for me or anybody else or interrupt me. I don't care because that's really why you're here. Make the contacts, make the networking. So if you have questions that we're going through, ask. Okay? Just uh, as far as over the counter, mm -hmm. buying it over the counter, do you all does a whole state do it or is it county by county? Whether or not they do well, it over the What you'll see here is uh, tax liens, well let's see, I'm gonna say this. Over the counter is in some states, in some counties, in some places it is, in some places it is. This website that they've got makes it pretty easy to see. Everything in red are tax deeds. Everything in green are tax lien states. Everything in blue are basically a hybrid of both tax, lien, and deed. And then uh, in yellow are redeemable deeds, like Texas. If you've got a tax deed in Texas, they've actually got six months to be able to redeem that. So personally, if I wanted to get property, I'm a little more leery to go to Texas and get a property where for six months they have the opportunity to redeem it, which means what happens in that six months? I can put money into it, I can fix it up, I can rehab it, I can get tenants in there, and six months later the people come back and say, well, I want my property back. Well, they can get it back, but they have to pay the initial interest, you know, the property taxes, plus the interest, plus any amount that you've put into that, they have to pay and give you back. So from that standpoint, there's a lot of people that say, I like that, I want to do it. I don't like it, I don't want to go there. But for me, that's a great state for vacant land. Because what's going to happen in six months with vacant land? <coughs> they can jump up and down on it, burn it, I don't care. <laughs> you know? So personally, I'm looking more at uh, vacant land in the path of progress, not out in the middle of nowhere, you know, because you want to be able to have something that people want. And you know, if you want to get rid of it quick, you can get rid of it yourself on Craigslist, do your own advertising, whatever, for a less amount. If you want the top dollar for the property, you give it to a realtor, tell them I don't care if it takes six months or a year, but if it seems like it's taking too long, I might have to get it to a realtor, you know, so you want to kind of look for people who deal with property so that you're in uh, a good sales mode to be able to get rid of it. That'll get you your highest price for the property. Does that kind of answer? Yeah, so as far as over the calendar, it just depends on the individual. Yeah, and you can find out a number of ways. You can find out by calling up the counties. You can find out by uh, going out and getting to different companies who has lists. Or you can get to this website, and they have all the information about all the counties everywhere and show you who has over the counter and who doesn't. So, you know, I have a coach through this company, and I asked him if he uses the program. He's been doing tax liens for about 10, 12 years. And he said, well, because I've been doing it for so long, I don't really need this because I've spent a lot of time getting my own information together. But I do use it sometimes because there are some things that he does use on there. For somebody who's new, I think in the first couple of years, it's really a good thing, you know, to, because time is money. And you're going to spend a whole lot of time trying to learn what he learned in 12 years. Yeah. I could be wrong, but I recall that with Texas, there is a homestead and non homestead rate. Yeah. There's 25% for yeah. six months. I think it's 25% six months per year if it's a homestead. It's right. redeemable in two years, right. I believe. Yeah, you really have
have to watch out. When you go to buy these properties,